Tim, as you know, PTC in Oxford Economics has completed a comprehensive research project that we've called Proving the Service Continuum. A key finding in the research demonstrates that very few companies today are in the best-in-class state as it relates to their services offerings to the marketplace. Many of these companies are still in early stages of transformation along this journey. Can you describe how does servitization take root in industry today? The way in which I see the world is that we have a number of companies out there who are iconic in their adoption of servitization. And we all know those companies now. They're companies like Rolls-Royce, MAN, Alstom Energy, Alstom Train Life Services. These companies pretty much have been pulled into this space by customer demand. So the early adopters were pioneering in this space. They helped us to understand the types of processes, the types of people, the types of technologies which are required to deliver advanced services. To some extent, this understanding makes it easier for the secondary adopters to understand the type of organisational transformation which is required. However, their world is still different. There are requirements, for example, to educate their customers to understand who's going to be responsible for the leadership of the transformation inside their own organisation and how, for example, how to get people bought into the idea about the type of changes which are required. One of the challenges we have now as a community is to understand some of those additional changes which are required for the secondary set of companies to actually achieve the benefits that the first have demonstrated. Very interesting. Well, thanks, Tim. I appreciate you joining me today. Thank you, Cindy.